YouTube, you crazy people out there. Well, we're out for a nice bimble on a nice sunny day. I'm rocking my uh, my rear rock and berserker out today, and uh, I got my lovely wife behind me. She's got her toxin on. I thought, uh, well, we're out for a bit of a bimble. I'd uh, give you my thoughts on Rear Rock, their helmets, the company and uh, my whole experience with them really. So it all started last year with the 2.0. My wife came to me and says, uh, I love this helmet, oh, I say want this helmet. So I blagged her and says, oh no, no, I've looked at some of the reviews, they're proper shit, blah, 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 blah. And then I went and ordered a one. So it was supposed to be um, as a, a present, as a gift, for an occasion that unfortunately it, it came and passed and went and then we are on to the next occasion. And uh, basically it took five months to turn off. And yes, I whinged and I moaned and I give them shit on Facebook, on their Facebook page and everything else. But i got to say, their customer services um, are just absolutely top notch because they really did know how to deal with me as a customer. So, uh, like I say, eventually that helmet arrived and uh, she absolutely, absolutely loved it. So, then the Berserker was launched and at first I sort of ummed and ahed. Um, but I like the Berserker because for me it matched the style of my bike and uh, so my birthday came in November and they had their uh, their big sale my wife says look if you really want one I'll buy one for your birthday so this is the helmet I got for my birthday and I gotta say I love it just as my wife loves her toxin but there are things that both are niggleless. For me, it's mainly the interiors. We spend a lot of time in the cross helmet. Could be eight plus hours a day, every day, most days. So, I like the inside of my, the inside of my helmet to be as plush and comfortable as possible. But what I found is, even after the first couple of rides, cheap pads the lining they've all deteriorated quite a lot just pretty much from putting it on your head and for me that was the only quality issue that I can gripe about and, and it's it's the one that's stopping me from ordering a 3.0 for work which is a shame because their liquid carbon would so match my work bike at the moment. But I have offered on a few occasions as a development test rider to put development miles on their products and uh, as of yet they don't really uh, seem to show any interest because my YouTube channel for one <laughs> is so small. But it's my YouTube channel for our buddies and we're not really influence, influencers we just like our own motorbikes but like I say I am totally hooked on the look back in the back in the day you know Simpson Bandit helmet was out there but nobody would touch it really because it wasn't road legal not for motorcycles and the the, the vision, the point of view you got out of the, the boys, it was shocking. But it was the one everybody wanted. And then the, the company did a, a craft helmet, it was slightly like the Simpson Bandit. That was very expensive and the quality just wasn't there either. But the one thing with Rurok is that they know how to market their product. Um, I've got to say that the way they market it, the way that they create hype and they get you all sucked in to, to just loving the product is amazing and for a British company I really do hope they go from strength to strength the other plus point with them is they take all the critique 
good and bad on the skid and they really do try and make those differences those changes between models and you could see that from the original atlas 1.0 to the 2.0 and pretty much every change they made was what the customers were telling them so i'll be interested to see what the reviews on 3.0 are that's for sure um, will i have it as a work helmet who knows what's this space never say never but uh, as for now i'll stick with my shoey for work when i'm on a sports bike and if i'm on something like this i usually don on my schumer c3 flip because i do like a flip and uh, they're just not much good on sports bikes unfortunately so this one was purely for social riding i think i will be comfortable for like what we're doing today uh, but when i decide to go on a social ride and do 400 mile around wales i think i will be putting my flip back on just for the convenience i think i've even fell in love with the design of this helmet that much that i am contemplating respray my little Enfield 350 bullet in this colour um, I've always been into uh, orange, olive orange Mr Pheasant I had a uh, orange cub unfortunately I had to sell um, when times got hard last year looks like an old Lancaster bomber wow yeah it is an old Lancaster bomber oh, what a shame you can't see it I haven't actually um, fitted my GoPro to this helmet yet I have got the Rural Rock uh, bracket that came in their free gift pack to apologise for the five month wait I just haven't fitted it so yeah my summary in total is you know it is the best looking helmet range on the market for sure um, the passion that these Rurock guys are putting into their product is 100% their marketing is 100% and their customer services I found to be 100% and there's so many other companies that really should take a leaf out of their book because they are doing so much of it so right I get a lot of it last year was because we were in a pandemic and when they release a product I think they've learnt now it does go ballistic you know launch day is <laughs> it's quite uh, quite a spectacle in itself and if you want to look into more of the Rural Rock and you want to get some feedback from other people then definitely go and join their Facebook group uh, the thing I found when I bought the Atlas 2.0 Toxin was oh, I watched every review going on all the YouTubers that were lucky enough to be given that product because they've got uh, big viewing numbers and it was a bit of a con really because obviously Rurock sent them out a box of goodies so it came with Pinlock it came Pinlock came in its own this nice little bag and uh, came with the dark visor and the clear visor and uh, obviously they've got the shockwave with it but when you actually come to purchase it you do have to do all that individually so it soon mounts up and before you know it you have a shockwave to it you're up to 500 quid plus the new 3.0 now you've got 600 quid for everything when you add a couple of visors and a pin lock or a pin lock so when you're watching the youtubers that have been given them just bear in mind that what you see them get is not what you get for the price of the helmet and if you're like me i don't read the small print <laughs> i like pictures so youtube was my place to get my reviews i'd definitely give the berserk a seven out of ten for me the interior could be better and already i'm starting to feel it's starting to go a little bit loose but I'm sure if I get in touch with uh, 
customer services as they did with my wife's they sent me out some cheap pads to of charge the next size up and that's what I mean about customer services they really do try to look after you even when they've, uh, they've got somebody as anal and argumentative as I can be <laughs> so definitely go and have a look at their new range um, but I would hold off on the 3.0 until the reviews from the people that have got them so Unreal! There's the first of many. This is what I mean about coming out. This is a car driver. They're just not looking. Unbelievable. And sod's law. I haven't got the camera on the right way, have I? No doubt, my wife <laughs> is now pulled her over and given her total shit. She will not be amused. Not be amused, buddy! Hey! Stupid people, try to fucking kill you all the time. <laughs> 